previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and feed it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. I mean, more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? 
The Golden Hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. <laughs> You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water?
Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I know this is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though, or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Ah, uh -huh. here's the DVD.
I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. But do you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. You're so great. That's a serious heat lamp. Despite everything, it's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. I'm so glad we had our movie night. Even if you crashed on me. That's why they call it a sleep. Despite everything, it's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. Wow, sir. What, what a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Hmm, so we should all just say, Dear sir, you are screwed. Bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too.
They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. I guess we stopped growing up together. It is so nice to have you around. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she, uh, she, do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Joyce, I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family and we'll always be one, no matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. I know. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny, I think I look older. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend.
finally. Uh, give me the boot pump. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I'll just drift to sleep, dreaming of us here together, forever.
Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. A choice. And William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. I, I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. I am never leaving you again. I'm sorry, Will.
Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting again. Dad. Don't blow it. Okay, tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous jam and surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, give me the syringe. He's never leaving. That makes all of us. Max, you were being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always.
Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. David really did protect Chloe. I'm glad I stuck up for him. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me. That's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. Like the fact that you might be working for Sean Prescott. What? Who told you that? Nathan Prescott? That little shit-ass is lucky he didn't get suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended, too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. So... Are you going to tell me why you think I'm working for Sean Prescott? I saw documents that you were hired to do surveillance and security at Pan Estates. God damn. You are a good detective. But I didn't get hired. I gave Sean Prescott an estimate. For my own reasons. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life like a hero while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. And I got him suspended for what? That guy is an elitist prick. And I'm off duty so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me. It's only I know what's happening. That's why I'm working out the new Blackwell surveillance plan to protect future students so they don't end up like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now, excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See? I'm an artist, too. Sure is hard to work in private with somebody watching you. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing up for me.
I wonder if David is going to the party. I wonder if David is going to the party. Sorry, Max. I can't talk and work. Anything I can do for you, Max? I can't tell you everything that's... Too late. What? I don't think luck... I didn't have... So... No, David. But I know how powerful the Prescott family is. And you're working with them. I guess I wouldn't trust me either. But I will never work for Sean Prescott and his fucked up family. Anyway... I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You even made it to... I knew Kate was desperate. That guy? Why do you say that? He's our father. Well, Black... I have a family. That's why. Although. Chloe and I. Now, excuse me. Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. I give up William, but defend David? <sighs> Would Chloe hate me if she knew? Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing up for me. This is my official man. Whoa, case. that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. The baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Come on, Max. Find a way to get David out of his cave. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Max, I don't like people in my personal space. I mean it.
It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch. Come on, Max. Sorry, Find a way to get David out of his cave. cave. So, no girls allowed. The most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Max the Time Bandit strikes again. David even made sure to bag up the dead birds. William never finished painting that wall. Hey, Max, I do appreciate you standing David will up. not leave if I ask him nicely, so I need to create a major distraction. Sorry. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. Be kind and rewind so David doesn't see you. I can't let David see me when I'm in the box. Somebody fix the fuse! Hey! I can't let David see me. Gotcha. Hey. Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing. I am the key master. Coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now.
Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus, there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawing. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Lauren along, too. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. 
You know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hey, Max. How are you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Rose! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. 
Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you all right? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portrait. That makes sense, but not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still bumming. I'll talk to you later when I'm not so pathetic. that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now, I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame they don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108.
Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. Nathan is way into... Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you, and why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds like... Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Nathan likes his tortured subjects. Welcome to the boys' dorm. These films all have a dark pattern. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. That is so close. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. I really hope they were all consenting models. Looks like a totally fun show. <laughs> Even Nathan has a light side. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? 
You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Yeah. Uh. Get off me, bro! Uh. Oh. Uh. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. Damn, that was intense. Warren... Thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll.
Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well... Well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me and then pulled the trigger. I was helping Chloe after you threatened to cut her, remember? You know, you're lucky all I brought was a knife. Otherwise, you and your girlfriend wouldn't even be bothering me. You really think you're tough shit, girly. I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker. And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash, and it's time to take you out. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Pompidou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! No! Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the, co the cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Oh, 
Fresh meat. So Pompadour must be okay. Good doggy. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Listen, Chloe, I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That uh, figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh! You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not, I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell, shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank, without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! How do you like my blade, kid? Huh? Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just... just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Shit. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about Frank. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together.
Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Those clues are not related. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. This makes no sense, Max. Huh. Who else was David tracking here? Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho-stalker. Is this from Nathan's father? 
That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Somebody run all that electricity into an old empty bar. On the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Just rotting wood.
nothing here. Lots of info here. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Ah, the good old days. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. strikes again. to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. in the movies. Oh, 
open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my God. Rachel, Kate, all these vials. This place actually feels evil. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. 
Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs>
the music, okay? DJ, what the fuck? Oh my god, DJ Zero was checking me out. Lame. You, yes, you. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. I heard that one of, like, eight parts of the Vortex Club. It's for all the shit. Like, I don't know if he's going to the party. Yes. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody wanted that fuck off. Shut up off. Give me a break. Try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. I'm not the only problem child at Blackwell. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max? I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfie. That is so fucking lame. 
lame and lazy, Max? Just go find a community college. <sighs> Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Au revoir. Okay, I tried. She's not gonna believe me over her Vortex Club. Oh good, Chloe's here. Well, she obviously didn't find Nathan. Oh good, Chloe's here. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. But I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, but I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. You fucking cares. Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us.
You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. God, I'm gonna fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. 